you're pregnant with twins or have twins on the way or a friend who's having twins, this is my twin newborn essentials video. Everything you need for newborn twins. Pretty much all of this stuff you're gonna wanna have before the twins arrive. First thing you need to do is get a twin book and if you have time and budget a twin birthing class and newborn twin care class. So all of these I recommend Twiniversity. Natalie Diaz is the founder of Twiniversity and she has a great twin specific book called What to Do When You're Having Two and this book is amazing. She also does virtual classes and they are great. I highly recommend them even if you're not a new parent but you're new to twins or multiples. This class will be very, very helpful as will this video. I had a two year old when our twins arrived so it was especially difficult having so many little kids to handle. So a lot of my must-haves are focused on ways to kind of juggle the insanity. If you have a parent or someone who can stay with you for the first few weeks, that is very, 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 very helpful. My parents were able to stay with us for the first three weeks, which was really, really amazing. Really highly recommend it if you can swing that. If you can breastfeed, awesome. I will link below my breastfeeding twins tandem feeding tutorial. If you are going to use formula or you're going to pump or you're gonna use a mixture of all these, it really doesn't matter. Fed is best, guys. With that said, you need some kind of a feeding device. Whether it is a nursing pillow or some kind of a hack, you need something. I loved the My Breast Friend Twin Pillow Edition. The Twin Z is another popular one. Twin Z is especially great if you had a C-section or you can use it as a tummy time, kind of lounger for the babies, or you can lay them in there while you're bottle feeding. That's really great. If you can swing getting both pillows, I recommend it. Check your local twin groups. You can usually find them for really, really cheap used and you just wash them and ready to go. You also need burp cloths. You can use any kind of absorbent towel. They don't have to be these really expensive, cute, specialty made Etsy burp cloths. I mean like whatever. You need them for nursing, for covering one breast if you're only nursing on one side you need them for burping you can use them roll them up to prop the baby in a position for when you're feeding them they're really handy you get tons of these baby carriers I was never able to figure out how to get both in a wrap some people can and it's amazing but I wasn't so I got the we go twin carrier and it's really cumbersome to use and it's heavy and for me maybe it wasn't fitted properly I don't know but it just felt like they were hanging from my neck not comfortable but when I got both babies in there and they were like fussy and nothing I could do because you can't really hold and like properly soothe them with two arms you, you just can't so I would put them both in there and like instantly they were comforted and quiet and would just like fall asleep and it was like magic for the first few months i used it a couple times a day to calm two fussy babies so i really recommend getting that they are expensive i think they're almost 200 bucks but again check your local twin group because i got ours used for i want to say 75 and i used it for four months and then i sold it for the same price the next carrier i got the twin go carrier we used it from about four months uh, it's a tandem carrier for the front and back or you can split it up and two people each wear a baby love 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 this carrier it's got a hood the fit of this one was much more comfortable than the we go which was just on the front two babies <laughs> But this one is like balanced front and back. It's still kind of, it's tricky to learn how to wear it, especially to get them on the front and the back. It's scary. You gotta do it with a partner at first. Pretty much everyone should have a twin stroller. Now, I was in the city without a car, so I got like really nice luxury kind of stroller. I love the Stroll Air side by side. I also love the even flow pivot expand that one it goes single to double back to single really easy and it also can carry a car seat i think it comes with a car seat actually i've done reviews on both of those strollers so check the links 
in the video description. If you are driving, they have the snap and go strollers. So basically it's just a frame and then you take the baby in the carrier and you just snap it into the stroller. So that's really convenient if you're driving and you don't really need a real, real stroller. A lot of people ask about cribs. Should the babies share a crib? How long should they share a crib? Should I get mini cribs? Blah, blah, blah. I think it's not officially recommended for them to share, you know, SIDS and all that risk. As newborns, we were still using the Rock and Play for the first month. That was before it got recalled as dangerous. Uh, it was something about the airway. They could get into a slumped position and asphyxiate. So um, scary. Don't be using those. Uh, we loved ours. We didn't know they were dangerous at the time. Um, so now you want to use a flat cradle if you want something that is like reachable from your bed kind of thing. I don't think a mini crib is worth it because they're so small they don't last long enough. And then you've got to like be like okay well now I need a real size crib, now what? So just go straight from the cradle to the real crib or skip the cradle and just use a real crib and two cribs. One baby in each crib, boom, done. You can get used cribs totally fine. We got used cribs, but I really, 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 really recommend new mattresses. They need to be really, really firm for a newborn and a young baby who might, you know, at two or three months, they may end up rolling over onto their tummy and they can't get off of their tummy. So if they're like face into it and it's firm, they're still able to get enough oxygen around their face, okay? But if it is not a super firm new newborn mattress, they might kind of like squish into it and um, rebreathing their air, it is not good guys. I really love the more natural ones. We love Naturepedic, we love Lullaby Earth has a breeze cover, which is like a breathable, washable, but waterproof cover. I will link that below, love that cover. Also helpful so that you're not changing when they like, you know, have a pee or blow out or spit up. Spit up is like all the time. So we love the waterproof washable. Um, they like tie so that they're not a danger, but they go on top of the crib sheet. So you tie them on and then you just change that one out and then the whole rest of the bed, you don't have to bother changing every time they have, you know, spit up or something. So I will link that below. Those are amazing. When the babies are little, we found that they were very, very comforted with swaddles. And if you just want to do it with a swaddle blanket, old school style, good for you. But for me, they always just unwrapped and were so annoying. So we loved the swaddle. They Velcro or they zipper. So You'll find one that you love, look at different reviews. You just wanna make sure that they're roomy enough for the hips, because if they're too tight on the hips, it can actually cause problems for their hips. And then make sure you are careful with the weight and the temperature of the swaddle. If their hands are cold, it's not really an issue. Their hands tend to be cold all the time when they're newborns, their circulation isn't great. But one way to check quickly if the baby is a good temperature is to just kinda of like, get down and feel their core temperature, their tummy, their chest. If that feels nice and warm but not sweaty, um, then they're pretty good. I love Happiest Baby on the Block. Dr. Karp is amazing. He knows everything about babies, guys. It was a DVD. We got it from the library. You might be able to find it online. It's also a book, but he has something, I think it's like the five S's about shushing, swaddling, um, I don't even remember them all, but they were really great. But the swaddling one, it's like for sure, the babies like to be, you know, it's like they're just like in a hug. And you'll see they startle so easy. If their arms aren't, you know, like swaddled in tight and they're sleeping like this, you'll see them just randomly, like, they just like startle and wake themselves up. It's like, <laughs> it's really crazy. This is another controversial one, pacifiers. Personally, I think if you know your baby is getting enough to eat, meaning their hands are not tight fists and they're all cranky, okay? If their hands are like open when they're sleeping, it generally means they're getting enough milk and they're happy, then a pacifier can really help. But there are a lot of different shapes and so I recommend maybe getting a few 
different shapes and having them ready to just pop in and and when you're first doing it you may need to like keep popping it in because they don't really get it at first but once they get it it can be really helpful but not everybody is team pacifier so kind of think that one through um they really were helpful for us but then breaking the pacifier habit around a year and a half was tough it depends on the size of your house so we were in a tiny apartment we didn't even need to have monitor but if you're in a bigger house or something, or if you really wanna have the video monitor, that would be helpful no matter what size of the house, really, because you could just check it from your bed. <laughs> Not just for newborn, but also when they're getting older. You can, you know, talk to it also, like, it's okay, mommy's here, or get back in bed. Really helpful for us, our babies loved the swings. We got some really cozy swings that they swung forward and backward and sideways. So we got two of those. The thing you gotta be really careful with here is the time in the swing because they kind of like lay there and it's very easy if you're using them too much and you're not being really careful, they can get flat heads. So, always watching the shape of their head from the newborn age and you want to watch out also in the crib when my first baby i didn't even notice this it was my mother-in-law who visited at two months and she was like you know his head is a little like flatter on one side do you notice when he's in the crib he only looks one way and i was like oh what and i felt like the worst mother that i didn't notice that but this like this that you just don't know without the experience right so here I am to tell you um, watch out for that so it could be that they had torticollis or something wrong or it could just be you're placing the baby in the crib in the same direction and they're facing the direction of your voices out in the living room or whatever so if it's something like that you want to make sure you're rotating them every time you put them down for a nap so when they're when they look towards the voices, it's not the same direction every time. And again, with time in the swing, if they're in the swing all the time and they're always looking one direction or forward, um, that can be a problem too. So this is why you really need to do tummy time as much as you can. And no, babies don't like it, but you've got to do it. And the more you do it, the more they like it because at first it's not comfortable. Um, eventually they get stronger and they can, like, that's how they learn to push up and they learn to like crawl and all this stuff. It's just really important. And also they need the time, their head not being smashed into a surface. Tummy time activity mat is great. Something with mirrors and like, you know, crinkles and, and stuff for them to look at. Primary colors and stripes and these are great for them. They don't need flashing lights and music all the time. You don't want to overstimulate them. Even if you're not planning to pump, I really recommend getting a pump. I believe every health insurance will cover one pump per pregnancy. So check with your health insurance. They probably have a limit of the types you can order. You might as well have some bottles on hand too. You can get plastic, you can get glass. There's so many options. A lot of this is very similar for one baby and twins and triplets or whatever. You need a changing table or a changing pad of some sort. You could put it on the top of a dresser, you can do it on the floor, but think about your comfort and the baby's safety. So you don't want it on something that can easily slip off and never leave the baby up there unattended, like not even to just turn around and grab a wipe. I mean, like always have a hand on that baby. Diapers, diapers, diapers. So first you gotta decide you're gonna do cloth, or you're gonna do traditional disposable diapers. So we did disposables and I realized very quickly that the baby's body type and sensitivity level will dictate the best diaper for it. So I advise do not stock up on 500 diapers of one brand and one size because that brand in the first day or two, you may notice that baby gets a rash from it or the baby's like poop is just like leaking out every time. So you don't know which one is gonna work. Personally, we loved Pampers and I love the Huggies Natural Care wipes. Like they're all different. Some of them are too slippery and don't catch stuff and some of them rip and it's really hard to find. So don't stock up until you know which wipes and which diapers you like the best and then know that they go between sizes pretty quickly. Um, they may be in preemie diapers 
Maybe not. Mine were never in preemie diapers. Mine were in newborn and my girls, my twins were in newborn size a lot longer than my son. I think my son was in newborn for like a week. Either have a way to go to the store to get diapers frequently or you can sign up for a subscription like Amazon or Walmart. You can get deliveries within a day or two. So there's really no need to stock up. Those are my big tips on must haves for newborn twins. Um, if you have something to add, you can't comment here because YouTube has our comments turned off, but you can find me over on social media, US Japan Fam, or you can go to the blog linked below and comment over there. And um, good luck with your twins, guys. It's really hard and double trouble, but twice as nice and really, really special. And you are part of like, what, like a 3% club, right? There's not a lot of us out there, twin parents, but at the same time, there are so many. And it's a great community and you are going to be tired and you're gonna feel like it's so hard, but it goes by so fast. So take pictures and videos and try to cherish what you can and know that, no, you don't have to love every second, but you're gonna love those babies and you're gonna, Remember everything so fondly? Ah, I miss the babies. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe and good luck.